Hey everyone, welcome back to the second part of endodontic instruments used in clinical practice. When I started doing a little endo work that I do, I was super confused about the basic armamentarium required for a root canal procedure. And it was really overwhelming to see so many instruments marketed for this routine procedure. Over time, I learned about a few important ones to help me tackle my endo cases. So I would like to share that with you all and hopefully it will help you guys, probably the beginners in practice. In this part, I'm going to mainly discuss the basic instruments used for glide path preparation, cleaning and shaping and obturation. This is a continuation of the first part, which includes the instruments used for access opening, pulp debridement, etc. So don't forget to watch that video as well. Also, if you find my videos useful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. So let's get started. We all know that a root canal treatment is done to prevent or heal lesions of endodontic origin. But to achieve this, the root canal system must be successfully obturated. In order to be obturated, the root canal system has to be successfully cleaned and rotary shaped. To be properly cleaned and shaped, a glide path has to be successfully prepared. This being the starting point, we shall begin with an overview of glide path and the instruments used for glide path preparation. In 2010, John West defined endodontic glide path as a smooth, though possibly narrow, tunnel or passage from the coronal orifice of the canal to the radiographic terminus. It is basically a refinement of already present root canal anatomy, which further allows the subsequent shaping instruments to advance smoothly and safely within the canal. Glide path preparation is something that I learned later on, but I think it is one of the most important steps which makes root canal procedures much more easier. Preparing a glide path allows us to maintain the original canal morphology, better manage canal curvature and reduce procedural errors associated with canal cleaning and shaping such as ledge formation and instrument fracture. Coming to the instruments used to create glide path. So a glide path is prepared by first scouting with K files, then creating a hand generated glide path and finishing the preparation with final rotary instruments. So first we'll discuss the hand instruments. We have the K-file, reamers, C-plus file, D-finders, etc. Elaborating a little on these, starting with K-files, which are the most commonly used files for endodontic treatment. These are basically the first files which are introduced in the canal, either to check the patency of the canal itself or to start creating the glide path. The cross section of the K-file is square, it is placed in the root canal and pressed against the canal wall and then the instrument is withdrawn while maintaining the pressure. It is generally used in clockwise direction with a quarter turn only and then withdrawn. Most of the hand files are available in standardized taper of 2%. That means that there is a constant 0.02 millimeter increase in diameter per millimeter of file. They come in lengths of 21 millimeters, 25, 28 and 30 millimeters. 21 mm length is commonly used for molars, 25 mm for anteriors, 28 and 30 millimeters for canines. According to ISO standardization, these files are color coded for easier recognition. So they are available as pink, gray, purple, white. I'm sure you all are familiar with all this. Starting with number 6K file to 150, 6 being the narrowest or the smallest in diameter. It is important to note that several manufacturers have also implemented non-standard ISO sizes called half size resulting in instruments in sizes 12.5, 17.5, 22.5, etc. So these files also come quite handy for some cases. However, K-file has limitations. Primarily, it is the lack of the flexibility or stiffness in negotiation of curved and calcified canals. We also have the reamers, which can be used instead of K-file. Reamer has a triangular blank and lesser number of flutes than a file. It cuts by inserting into the canal twisting clockwise one quarter to half turn and then withdrawing. Though reamer has fewer number of flutes than file, cutting efficiency is the same as that of files because there is more space between the flutes which causes better removal of debris. So you can use either a file or a reamer for your initial glide path preparation. Next important file to keep in your armamentarium are the C plus files. C plus files in general are stiffer files with active end cutting tip which is quite different from the standard non-active cutting tip of K file. The C plus file can engage the dentine much better in cases where there are calcifications because of the extra stiffness and active cutting tip. If you use a K file in such situation, generally you will observe that the K file will kink at the tip when it hits a calcified area. So in these situation, C plus file can be used. Another file of importance are the D finders. The D finder's cross section resembles the shape of the letter D, hence the name. It is primarily used for canal negotiation, 
the d finders can also be used to prepare a glide path d finders can be used to achieve patency in narrow block calcified and highly curved canals now that we are familiar with the files coming back to the glide path preparation as mentioned before the first step involves using hand files where we create a hand generated glide path which is further refined with rotary files so you can start with regular hand filing with a number 8 or 10 number k file you have to use a minimum of 10 number hand file till it is completely loose before you can introduce any rotary glide path file it is preferable to follow a 10 number hand file with a 12.5 or a 15 number k file before introducing a rotary file if the canal is clogged or blocked by debris or if you feel resistance you can start off with the smallest file in your armamentarium that can be a k file number 6 or 8 or even better with a c plus file or d finders as it has an active cutting tip and a stiffer therefore it will help to negotiate the canal better these can be then followed by k files to create the initial glide path which is then followed by rotary files there are numerous glide path rotary files available as well some examples are path files and pro gliders the path file has a three file sequence with continuous taper and the pro gliders have incorporated all three files in just one with variable taper okay the path files are used in a sequence from smallest to largest by the end of the three file sequence you have given yourself a smooth glide path and then you can introduce your shaping files you can use any other glide path files available in the market according to your own convenience once the glide path files have been used to the working length to produce a smooth pathway it is then time for bulk root shaping with the shaper or enlarging files coming to the shaping files these files are intended for cleaning and shaping the root canal they can be hand files for manual cleaning and shaping or rotary files hand files can be your k files k reamers and h files We've already discussed a K files and reamers. H file, on the other hand, is an aggressive file with a strong cutting force due to the design of the screw thread. It cuts only when the instrument is withdrawn because its edges face the handle of the instrument. These are mainly designed for vertical movement. So, when used in torquing motion, its edges can engage in the dentine of the root canal wall, causing the H files to fracture. They can be used for shaping the canal only and only after the canals are previously cleaned and enlarged with K files. However, H files can be definitely avoided for shaping a canal. Your K files and reamers will suffice. Another important use of H file is to remove GP that is your gutta percha during retreatment. These hand files for cleaning and shaping are used in traditional instrumentation technique like step back technique of root canal treatment but they are now phasing out because of the increasing and expanding use of rotary files. And why is that? With the introduction of rotary files, root canal treatment became less time consuming, more efficient, more comfortable for the patient and also for us dentists. These files are used with an endomotor which can be adjusted for certain speed and torque during instrumentation. You can follow the manufacturer's recommendations for that. There are numerous brands of rotary instruments currently available in the market which includes Densply, Endostar, Hero Shaper, etc. At the end of the day, whichever file system suits you the best, you can use that because it's not the file system that you're using but the technique that majorly determines the success of your endodontic treatment. Now, during cleaning and shaping you have to irrigate the canal as well right so for irrigation you can use side venting needles and also an endo activator so the side vented needle is basically an endodontic irrigation needle it has either one or two lateral vents for irrigating the root canals effectively and the tip is generally close ended so the advantage of using these close ended side vented needle is that it creates more pressure on the walls of the root canal for effective cleaning also it reduces chances of expression of the irrigant in the periapical tissues the other commonly used needles are 27 gauge needle for routine endodontic procedures however if you have to choose between the two a side vented needle is safer you can also use an endo activator during irrigation using this activates the irrigants which promotes deeper cleaning and disinfection of the root canal including the lateral canals and fins and webs Finally coming to the instruments used in obturation of your root canal for lateral compaction technique obturation paste can be placed into the canal with a lentulo spiral drill this drill basically spreads the paste during its rotation into the canal from the apex to the orifice using a centrifugal force so lentulo spirals can be used for applying sealer to the root canal walls before obturation other instruments that you can use to place a sealer on the canal wall are the spreaders So spreaders can be hand spreader or finger spreader. 
they mainly used to compact the gutta percha in the root canal during obturation pluggers are similar to spreaders but they have a blunt end and it can be used to compact the warm gp vertically as well as laterally in the root canal and with this we come to an end this was a basic list of instruments that we can all keep in our clinic for routine root canal procedures obviously a lot more instruments are available in the market and as we learn and grow more and more uh, we can upgrade our armamentarium as well one of the main things that i learned was glide path preparation which i consider to be one of the most important steps which in turn leads to a better cleaning and shaping of the root canal followed by obturation so with this we come to an end i hope you guys find this video useful if you have any doubts or queries you can mention them in the comment section below and before you go please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel